The Fed announced this Monday morning that it would purchase treasuries and mortgage-backed securities in the amount needed. It calls that open-ended QE. Last Sunday, they said that they would do a $700 billion of securities purchase, now they are not even putting a number on it. The Fed also announced it would purchase and or finance corporate bonds and municipal bonds. It will also purchase commercial mortgage-backed securities. Fed is going to stop at nothing. This is the Fed's final solution. This is the beginning of the end of the reserve status of the US dollar. Buying the world with fake dollars, while America goes Zimbabwe. In this unprecedented move, Fed openly announces the US dollar has absolutely no value whatsoever. This is the biggest corporate bailout in history. This is way bigger than the bank bailout. This is unlimited. Fed will start buying equities. This is a quantitative ending. So companies are issuing corporate bonds to buy back their own stock. Then the Fed is buying corporate bonds. In addition to open-ended QE, the Fed is now the holder of stocks, mortgage-backed securities, and tons of other bad debt, so the Fed buys the stock market with funny money, announces open-ended QE, stocks soar, and it is the Fed that profits from it. The game is rigged. Fiat has been hollowed out by digital QE by pressing a key or two on a computer keyboard and presto. Unlimited money for the 1%, the Fed itself, and secret owners, and the 99% get hosed, again, and again and again. Privatize gains, socialize losses, and remain at the mercy of the creature from Jekyll Island. Make America impoverished again. Make America afraid again. Who needs capitalism when we have central banks? The stock market bubble must be reinflated no matter what the cost. And this is just the beginning. As QE infinity ravages the nation with inflation, price controls, rationing, and long lines for food and other goods will follow. Stock up now before it's illegal. This is their only one tool, counterfeiting to infinity. The so-called surge will be short-lived. We won't be able to print our way out of this. This is a debt problem, and counterfeiting to new highs on debt won't repair the damage, not mention creating further problems. Why not just print 200 trillion and pay off the national debt then just buy the earth? End game. Push a button and create trillions. This will be the last nail in the dollar's coffin. This is the beginning of the end of the reserve status of the US dollar. As usual, it'll go up first before it comes down. Even a farmer can tell you that no amount of money printing can salvage a year of no harvest. QE infinity will not make up for lost productivity due to the corona lockdown. Deferring the day of reckoning only makes it so much more insufferable when it comes. The central bank is shifting from being not just the lender of last resort, but now it is the buyer of last resort. Don't ask how much they will buy. This is truly QE infinity. And despite this QE infinity, stocks are already dropping hard again. It's over. Welcome to the Weimar Republic of America. The empire is done. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. A disease that helps provide corporate welfare. Deploying the National Guards everywhere on a global scale is to help them complete the reset or the shutdown of the existing economic system, and we all know the virus is an excuse in mainstream media as a reason for a failing economy. If an evil genius was thinking of ways to make martial law acceptable, they could not think of a better way than this. Everyone, voluntarily self-isolates and praises the boots on the streets. The world's economic system has been different throughout history up to the present day. The economy is now more connected than ever and we all know the system has been rigged for a long time. The system reset is happening as we speak. And if you notice all the financial sector has started to close along with the closing down of borders and cities, etc. Deploying the National Guards and Army onto the streets is to back up the operation of the reset and forcing people to stay at home until they finish. However, I don't think the central bank has a clear image of the future after the world's economic system has been reset. The Dow futures went parabolic, but it didn't last, they're plunging again. The market is back down. The announcement was a goosing that lasted for a minute or two. It doesn't work anymore. It is unraveling. It won't help. The market is not buying what they are selling. 
Who in their right mind would sell their self-built businesses, with their sweat equity for worthless dollars created by the push of a button? As long as nobody knows how long zero cash flow lasts, nor the cascading effects of it, there is nothing to buy and no choice but to sell. Everything. This is the end of capitalism. Free markets should decide what survives, not the government. Engineering financial success in an attempt to avoid pain and protect concentrated wealth and power, changing the rules of the game is doomed to fail. These guys just want to pump today and pay later, and we the taxpayers will pay. Socialism for the rich and capitalism for the poor. The Federal Reserve gets to create dollars out of thin air to give socialism to the corporate world. And they steal all the assets with 30% unemployment, by design, the way they do it, call a pandemic and crash the system, create unlimited money out of thin air and then loan it to everyone but they have no way of paying it back, so it defaults to back to you. How is it that we have this system? Why do we have a private company that is allowed to create money out of thin air and buy stuff with it? And Citibank says they don't think unlimited is enough. This is insanity gone wild. We are exponentially raising the national debt, and there is another debt crisis coming. Between the Fed and Trump cuts for the rich, we are adding over 10 trillion to the national debt. Hyperinflation pretty much guaranteed now. Fed may as well say, abandon the confetti for metals. The markets see what's going on. Look, it's simple. When you see levitating markets again that stay up, you'll know that the Fed is buying everything. This obviously as of today hasn't quite started yet, but it will, and you'll know that it has when the futures go up and stay up not bounce back down like it did today. Rates and DXY also responded similarly with a spike up but then a plunge again. The fact that everybody is supposed to be stuck at home scared shitless about some virus will make it hard for the sheeple to get mad and riot. This COVID thing is surely starting to look like the cover for the Fed to pull this stunt off. You never let a serious crisis go to waste. And what I mean by that it's an opportunity to do things you think you could not do before. Rahm Emanuel. Socialism for Wall Street. Unlimited corporate socialism. But what a coincidence, the Fed is buying all the stuff that Goldman Sachs just happens to have. The Fed is everything. There is no market. There is only the Fed. Hail the Fed. Toss all charts and fundamentals out the window. All hail corporate socialism and Main Street Darwinism. Hold it for one minute. We have been told that the Fed is not a government entity, yet they're buying the entire market. We have been swindled by a mafia. The 1% of the 1% of the 1% in control of everything now. Again, this is fascism, clear as can be. This is fascism. An entire generation was traumatized, and millions of lives were lost in the fight against fascism. Almost 80 years later, corporate elites and they are bought and paid for government stooges run the show. This isn't a left or right issue. We are literally now, by definition, a fascist nation masquerading as a constitutional republic. A sick perversion of all that the founders wanted for our nation. The vipers have won, and the people seem unwilling to counter their corruption. A private bank counterfeiting money and giving it away to billionaires. Companies can now buy back their shares with Fed bailout money. You can't make this stuff up. And they have the balls to still call this a market, a stock market. It's so fucked up, why even try to fake it anymore? The merger of corporate and state happening before your very eyes. This will do nothing for Main Street nor the economy that is tanking. Think the market might know that. Lock people up in their homes until they are bankrupt and can no longer pay their debts on autos and homes, then the Fed will swoop in and buy those homes for pennies on the dollar. Same with businesses. And all the sheep care about is more military on our streets to force more people inside. We deserve what is coming for doing nothing about this corrupt government. We cannot have a functioning economy with interest rates permanently at zero or less. And that is where we will be stuck. Zero or less interest rates mean zero savings and investment, which means zero productivity gains, which means zero increase in average living standards. We are being led into socio-economic oblivion by a gang of pathologically greedy imbeciles. How are these clowns able to get away with ignoring the most fundamental laws of economics for so long? A loaf of bread, if you can find one, should cost $100 even before this coronavirus thing. Powell's just saved all shitholes like Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, and Oakland. There's going to be no accountability anymore. None.
It's now like these cities can spend, spend, spend into oblivion because they are backstopped by the Fed. The Fed will be the bagholder of last resort. But the Fed or Treasury has no savings. No cash reserves, just debt printing money for taxpayers to pay back, not corporations, as we all know. They are seeking to eliminate any means of circumventing their negative interest rate policy. They believe that the only reason their quantitative easing has failed is that people were hoarding cash and gold outside the banking system. Instead of looking at the problem with Keynesian economics, they never assume they are the problem, it is always the people. People have been hoarding gold jewelry. Italy began to weigh the gold jewelry you are wearing when you leave the country. I do not believe this will be successful. That is not the point. It is solely intended to force everyone into government digital currencies. Then they can just tax whatever they desire. The excuse for this quarantine is that there will not be enough hospital beds for everyone. The answer is what the Chinese did, build emergency hospitals in days. You do not shut down the entire economy like this. People are losing jobs, and small businesses will close forever. The damage is far greater than what they pretend to be preventing. Either they are sublimely stupid, or there is another agenda here. Europe was on the edge of collapse. They have had negative interest rates since 2014. The central bank could do nothing. There had to be political reform. They are actually doing what I thought would do, using sheer force. Europe is losing its freedoms, and they will never return. Meanwhile, we have a major deleveraging process underway. Many hedge funds have traded with a fundamental view that defeats the very purpose of a hedge fund if it is based upon just opinion. As the hedge funds puke all over the street, the margins rise, which has a tendency of not just deleveraging the system but forcing further liquidations. This is the stark reality we are facing this coming week, further liquidations. Some funds may be forced to shut down based upon withdrawals by the end of the quarter. There is no question we are looking at economic numbers that will reflect depression-like economic data because this is a contrived economic collapse which is totally unjustified. Jobless claims are going to skyrocket for people must be fired in order to collect unemployment. I recommend this to businesses to help their employees. The economic damage inflicted on the economy is going to be massive. Any recovery will be hard to imagine if this lasts another two weeks. I highly suggest getting as much cash US dollars in hand as you can. And when the US dollar bonds crash, which I think will be next year, after the rigged election, after Europe has crashed. Make sure you have gold in hand. What I think will happen is the establishment will print massively US dollar one last time destroying all public confidence as the front run whatever is left, probably timed with next season's engineered virus. And then it will be a digital currency, total surveillance, or revolution. Either way, we are facing the end of this quantitative monetary Ponzi and whatever will be the next. Governments and their militarized cops are coming. It is evident now that no amount of money is going to fix this. Everyone better hang on tight because this generation of people has never seen anything like it. We are on pace to be worse off than the Great Depression, and everybody is clueless as to what that means. How long before we see crime start to go through the roof? We, the people are the only commodity that back the US dollar. And we are fast becoming the debt slaves to the world. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a small donation. Thank you.